We're now in the council chamber. This was once the witnesses room, but it's now used for town council committee meetings and for meetings of local associations. The room is furnished with a large boardroom table and a number of automatic chairs, which are all made of heavy oak and decorated with carvings of oak leaves and acorns. The furniture was designed by the architects of the town hall and executed by a Mr Parsons of Wokingham. Around the room you will see other panels with the names of all the former mayors, some from the borough and some from the town council, and I think it's worthwhile explaining the difference. In 1974, a reorganisation of local government meant that the then Wokingham Borough merged with Wokingham Rural District to become the Wokingham District Council. What had been Wokingham Borough became Wokingham Town and retained its mayor, its coat of arms, its ceremonies and base in the town hall. To confuse matters even further, Wokingham District Council gained the new borough status in 2007 and became Wokingham Borough Council. The portrait of Albert Dunham wearing the full uniform of the town mace bearer and bearing the town mace was commissioned by Wokingham Town Council in recognition of his 20 years service between 1981 and 2001 in which he was continuously in office as the mace bearer. He was given the title of Honorary Freeman and he joined such names as Thomas Martin whose portrait hangs here. Thomas Martin was a very famous man in the town because he left the land on which was built Martin's swimming pool, an open air swimming pool which delighted many of our residents here in Wokingham for so long. We have a panel which bears all the names of all of the honorary freemen and townspeople. Amongst those names is Stanley Bowyer who owned a pet shop which is still with us in this town and who came from a farming family. He was first elected as a councillor in 1931 and was given the title in 1972 for his long service of 40 years as a town councillor. He was the last mayor of the former borough and the first mayor of the new town. Sir William Radcliffe Van Strabenzi served as an MP for Wokingham from 1959 to 1987. At the occasion of him receiving his honorary title in 1980, he presented a clock to the town council. The clock case was made in the workshops of St Crispin's School by a member of the May family. We also commemorate on this board Ken Goatley, who was known as Mr Wokingham and was a Wokingham historian for all of his life and contributed a tremendous amount to the town.